everybody. How you doing? Thanks for tuning in. Hello, studio audience. Hi. And thanks, Mom and Dad, for bringing the kids down. What Cub Scout pack is this? 122. <laughs> Very good. Ah, here comes Sladmo. And I've got Sladmo back, one boy. <laughs> look who's working the mic phone. Oh, look at Jody. Hi, Jody. And TJ's teaching her how. Right. Okay, now, what do you do in a case like this? Oh. Huh? <laughs> All right. Oh, my God. Lamo. Oh, yes. Yeah. I want you to go set the around to the second row to your left what? and the second seat over. Right here. What is Eric. your name? Eric. Eric. That way to there is Eric. Okay. Today on the show, uh -huh. Jody shall return. Also, Penny Dauber falls. Dan Horn is here with one of his little friends. Mm -hmm. I wonder who. Dan, oh. can you hear me? I don't know who it is. No, we don't know. Uh, Dudley Dingle is here. Orson's going to be here with Dave. Orson will be here. And uh, Mr. Mime. Mr. Mime, We've wow. got lots to do. Let's get rolling. We'll have our first cartoon right after these messages. I'm ready. Can I do like to play, Whitey. The more I see of it, the more I don't like it. Well, you will like it. I'm clearing out of here the first chance I get. There's a chance for that any hour of the day or night, Whitey. My hunch is, though, you won't take it. I'll give you odds on it. If I was a betting man, I'd take you up on that. Is that all? That's all. Mickey Rooney is the tough kid. Spencer Tracy is Father Flanagan, the founder of Boys Town, our family theater movie this Sunday at 12 noon. Uh-huh. How's that afternoon show of yours going? Ladbro presents? Yes. Oh, new cartoons. We have Thundercats. Oh, that's pretty something. Hey, we're giving away lots and lots of neat prizes, too, old boy. Show me some of the prizes. Come on, we have a tent we're going to be giving away. Yeah? See, that's the Ladbro presents show. We're going to give away this tent. And, oh, boy, there's somebody in the tent. Look at the arm waving. Who's in there? I don't know. Who's in there? It's me. It's trying to change. It's Jody. Hi, Jody. I lost my hat. Yeah, we're also giving away this radio control off-road razor from Val's Hobby. Val's Hobby hanging there on 59th Avenue Camelbacks. Oh, yeah. He gave us one of these to give away. Boy, that's something remote control. We'll, we'll run it around. You'll let us take it out and run around with Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll get the stuff and we'll run it on the Lamar Present Show. And we'll run it on this show, too, later on. That was nice of Val. Yeah, it's real nice. So how you doing? How's the tent? It's, um, it's a little cramped in there, actually, but it's, it's fun. I like it. I'm going back in, as a matter of fact. Yeah, okay, hey. Let's all go into town, wall boy. Yeah. Hey, 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 yeah. hey, come on. Hey. <laughs> Time now for Dan Horn and Orson. Come on in, wall boy. Hey, everybody in the tent. I got one question. What's that? Which one's the tent and which one's Wallace? <laughs> <laughs> okay, what do you want to talk about? I got something to tell you. Okay, what is it? Dan? Uh-huh, I'm right here. Dan? That's my name, don't wear it out. I think I'm gonna retire. Retire? No, you can't do that. Well, why not? Well, because we need you here. You do? Yeah, I mean, you add a lot to the show. But I have to. No, you don't. Look, take a few days off, go on a vacation, take a rest, but... But don't retire. Dan, nobody here wants you to retire. Do you? No. Hear that? But, but no, you, you've got a lot to offer. Look, my mind is made up. I'm going to retire. I can't talk you out of it? No. Well, I'm really bummed about this. You are? I'm bummed. Well, if you're going to take it that way, I won't retire yet. You mean it? Sure, I won't retire. My golf cart can go a little longer on the tires it has. Ow!
We have a winner from the Ladville Present Show. And your name is? Tiffany Cameron. Congratulations, Tiffany. And you win all this stuff. You get toys from Toys by Roy, hobbies from Val's Hobby Hanger, and you got a, a nerd from Willy Wonka. Oh, don't forget a giant Tootsie Roll that's filled with Tootsie Rolls. Well, here's a certificate from Cookies from Home and Tempe and the Ladville Bag and all those games from Games Unlimited. All this is yours, and congratulations, Tiffany. Excuse me right now. I have to see what Wallboy, Dan, and Orson are up to. What's going on, gang? Or hey. Orson's going to do an impersonation of me. Oh, okay. Go ahead. Nice to see you. Glad you tuned in. <laughs> <laughs> that was good, Orson. That was yeah. all right. I feel like I'm in Metro Center in here. <laughs> 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 I want my hat back, Orson. All right, I'm glad you're here, Orson, because I think, uh, yes, I think there's a little surprise for you. Hey, look who's here. It. It's Mr. Mime. If you like pantomime, you'll love Mr. Mime. What do you got for us today? A limerick. Oh, okay. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, <laughs> wait a minute, maybe I better get over. Okay, you can stay there. What? What this is a limerick about you. Aren't mine supposed to uh, act things out? Huh? <laughs> How about acting quiet, all right? Shh. Okay? He's wearing my old makeup. <laughs> there once was a puppet named Orson, whose teeth gave him cause for remorse, and they were made way too small, and to wear them at all required a clamp and much forcing. <laughs> and see? Oh, wait, 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 wait a minute. Hey! <laughs> ah, ah. Cartoon time. Yeah. Labmo and I would like to apologize that silliness between Mr. Mime and Orson, it just yeah. got out of hand. It's, it, the, the limerick was all right, but yeah. it just it had no ending. The, it yeah. just was, yeah. I was embarrassed, yeah. and I'd like to apologize. Yeah. All right. I was embarrassed, and I admit it. <laughs> Let's check the bulletin the board. The bulletin board, here we go with the big county fair in Globe. I'll be there, Gerald will be there. That's Saturday at 1 p.m. for all the fun. I'll bring some land bags too, won't we? All right. And then, Starting September 30th at the Showbiz Pizza Parlor in Mesa, the Landmo birthday party starting every Monday thereafter. And for reservation, call 834-9322. Okay. 9322. As you know, we tried to get Rita Davenport on our show as a regular. Oh, yes. But we couldn't afford her, so we got Penny Dobberfall. And Penny will be with us in a little bit. She has a new segment today called uh, Gracious Living. Oh. But hey. before that, I want to tell you about the contest. What the contest? <laughs> the smallest Ladmo bag in the world. Yeah. Send in a postcard to Ladmo's and just address it to smallest card. And there it is, in small writing. You can see it there. Close up this box. 2010 or Phoenix, Arizona. 850-something. Mm -hmm. I don't have my glasses. 8536. Okay. And we'll uh, put all the cards in a box, pick one out, and whoever it is, they get the world's smallest Ladmo bag. And in it, Penny candy. Lots of candy. Lots of penny candy. Wait, there's something else in what, here. What, 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 what? Woo a $50 bill. Yeah! Yay. All right. Oh, hey! Okay, so we'll do that uh, in the middle of next week. Get those cards in so you'll be eligible for the drawing. And now, here she is complaining that she wants... Oh, there's a lot of things. She, she wants a new... Uh, uh, she wants a new set. She wants a new dressing room. But here she is, Penny Dobberfall. All right. I'm not nearly so unagreeable as what some people might have you believe. I am Penny Dobberfall here with another edition of Gracious Living. You know, with the holidays creeping up on us like an icky green fungus, <laughs> I'd like to address a problem we all face that time of year, how to write a proper thank you note. And I'm just going to demonstrate for you first the wrong way to write a thank you note. Dear Grandma, my mother made me write you this letter thanking you for the piece of junk you call a gift. I hate it, and I'll never play with it. Please tell me where you bought it so as I can take it back and get the cash. Your loving granddaughter, etc., etc. Wasn't that rude? 
I am amazed at my own discourtesy. Now here <laughs> is the proper form. Dear Grandmama, thank you so much for this lovely gift. It was so thoughtful, and I'll treasure it always. Yours truly. Now, of course, that was a lie. But it was a gracious, polite lie. <laughs> now, unfortunately, I mailed this first letter to my granny by mistake last year, so uh, writing thank you notes is something I'll never have to worry about again for as long as I live. <laughs> uh, this is Penny Dauberfall saying we love you, bye-bye, oh, which is another prime example of polite lying. <laughs> we love you, bye-bye. <laughs> Ladmo, what's in the Ladmo bag? Okay, let's find out what's in the Ladmo. Oh, we have lots of good stuff. We got Tootsie Rolls, we got a Zap bag, a Tootsie Pop, and a Slurpee Cup from 7-Eleven. And we have a shirt from Zaps. Zaps, that's candy, that's candy, that's candy. Oh, look at this. Cottage fried corn chips and rice. And Sprite. Quaker granola bars. Um, Nabisco animal crackers. Patty cake twins. And Whoppers, that chocolate cover melted. And we have this a coloring book, uh, Bike Safety. All right, and the bare essential news with the Ladmo comic strip. Yeah. Very good. Young lady in the striped shirt in the front row, what is your name? Heidi? Come over here, Heidi. It's time to play Call a Kid, and we need your help. Oh, yes. I'm going to mix up the cards, and I want you to, uh, what school do you go to? Go to. And that is where? Out in Paradise Valley? Where is that? Um... Yeah, I think so. How old are you now? I'm 11. Which means you're in the what grade? Sixth. Sixth grade, okay. Now, you know how this works? We reach in, pick one out, and whoever it is, we go and we call them on the phone and invite them down to be on the show to get a Ladmo bag. That's right. And speaking of Ladmo bags, I think Ladmo will have one for you for helping us out. Now, come on, we have to go over to the phone. Okay. There we go. All right. And we dial. All right, here we go. Yeah. Now, this is the time, wait, we gotta turn around. This is the time we tell the kids if they wanna play Call a Kid, they send us a postcard, just like you pulled out. And you send it to uh, Ladmo, Post Office Box 20100, Phoenix, Arizona. There's a zip code. Make sure you put your name and your telephone number on that card so we can call you up and invite you down to get a Ladmo back. Okay. Now, this one is so far north, I have to dial one oh, first. That means it's a long distance. Right. How far north is it? Well, it's uh, five numbers. Okay, here we go. Five numbers. First to one. And here we are. Okay, this takes a little time because it's long distance, so it takes a little longer. Yeah. Hope we get through. Hope that somebody's home and the line's not busy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, better luck this time. Okay. It's ringing. Ah, good. Mr. Crossman. Yes, sir. Hey, how are you? This is Wallace. Ladmo's standing right here, and so is Heidi. We just picked out Stephen's card for Call a Kid on the Wallace and Ladmo show. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, listen, is Stephen there? Yes, he is. Oh, I'd love to talk to him. Yes, Steve. Okay. Okay, I can hear Mr. Crossman explaining to Steve. Steve is coming to the phone. Steve! Hello? Who is this? This is Wallace. Who's this? Steve. Hi, Steve. You won. Are you coming down to be on the show to get a Ladmo bag? I certainly hope so. Oh, well, I'll give this. Okay. Wait a minute. Steve, did I lose you? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Mr. Crossman, I'm going to call you right back and make all the arrangements in a couple of minutes, okay? All right. All right. Thanks a lot, sir. All right. Okay. Well, I think we found a winner. No, we have a bag for Heidi. All right. We're helping you. She right. did a very good job. Okay. You're welcome, Heidi. See you over there when we come over to visit the audience at the end of the show. Right now we have time for one more cartoon. It's a Popeye cartoon. Oh, wait, somebody's at the door. Come in. Oh, oh hi, Dudley. Hi, uh, Dudley. Hi, Dud. Can I talk to Wallace for a Okay, I'll just step over here. Hi, Dudley. Wallace, I have a question to ask you. Yes. Do you like me? Sure, you're an okay guy. I am? Mm-hmm. Of course. You're honest, kind, thoughtful, hardworking, and considerate. Really? Is that true? Yes. yes. Oh, God. That, make, that makes me very, very happy. Why? 
Well, when that lady from the welcome wagon told me to get out of town, I thought I did something wrong. Why did she tell you to get out of town? Well, she was siding with the crowd that was booing me. The crowd was booing? Why was the crowd booing at you? Well, because I saved a little old lady from being bumped by a kid on a skateboard. They wanted the lady to get hit by the skateboard? No, they wanted me to get hit by the skateboard. They did? So much so that they held me down on the ground while the little old lady waved for the kid to come back. That's right terrible. Again. Unfortunately, a good Samaritan stopped by. And to put a stop to that nonsense. Yeah, he said, hey, forget the skateboard. Let's throw the nerd in his loud suit into the traffic. Were you hurt? I was a little dismayed, but I thought that maybe I had offended them somehow, you know? Just... I don't see how. You did everything right. Yeah, I did? I did. Yeah. You know, I sure hate to be around if I ever did anything wrong. Right. <laughs> I'm a nice guy, but it's getting hard out there. It's a tough world. Yeah. Seems like everybody's against This is depressing, it? isn't it? Bye-bye. Yes, Here's a bye-bye, Garfield. That's it for today. As a matter of fact, that's it for this week. Mm -hmm. We won't be back here until Monday morning. Now, tomorrow, Labmo and Gerald will be going up to Globe to the Gila County Fair at the fairgrounds just east of Globe. You're looking forward to that, Labmo? Oh, yeah. It's a lot of fun, Walworth. All right. Thanks for bringing the kids. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Who, who did you bring? Which one? We are the Cub Scouts. You brought the Cub Scouts. Cub Scouts, we're so delighted you were here with us today. I have a seating chart. We really should find another lucky seat winner to get a Ladmo bag. Okay, I have a Ladmo bag for that way. All go. right. Are you ready? Stop front row what? to your right, the second seat over. That's you right here. What's your name? Mm -hmm. There's Jimmy, our winner. Cup Scout Jimmy. Now, Ladmo, I need some information from you. What's that? What, what, You're giving away that little remote control Jeep. Oh, yeah. Went from Val, That's Hobby right. Hanger. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. How, how do you win it? What do you do? Oh. Well, the, first of all, they got to watch the Labo Presents show, and Which then is? send a postcard. Okay. And Labo Presents is on Monday through Friday on Channel 5 from 3 to 4. That's right. Okay, then they send a postcard. Mm-hmm. So Labo Presents, and, and then... You have a drawing. They put it in their hat, and we have a drawing. Okay. Bye, everybody! Was oh, that it? Oh, yeah. hey, watch the show, and I'll tell you more about it. Next on TV5, it's the Woody Woodpecker Show. Today at 3, stay tuned as Labmo presents an hour of cartoon fun and prizes. Oh, no, 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 no,